Doc, let's get the investor take first. Mike, how are you looking at these numbers? Any sort of concerns for you? Because it beats across the board. Yeah, no, no major concerns. I know we think it's a pretty, pretty clean beat. Uh, in fact, we're, we're a bit surprised. Uh, the stock is uh, not up more. I mean, the, the earnings beat by about 4%. Stock is up 4%. So in our minds, you know, investors are treating this as the same company it was uh, before the earnings came out. You know, I think in our minds, this is a higher quality company. Uh, investors have really not uh, sort of, they're not showing that in terms of rising sentiment. So we're, we're still uh, as confident uh, in Alphabet as we were uh, before the earnings came out. So Mike's confident. Harry, I want to get your point of view here because I've been speaking to an executive at Alphabet and asking, look, what about the YouTube controversy surrounding all of this? What about the backlash from advertisers and perhaps the slowing down of wanting to link yourself with certain videos? And they said, actually, look, this is only going to be a modest effect in the medium term. In the longer term, we might actually see some improvement as they change the business. But are there worries surrounding this, Harry? Well, I think that in Q1, it's not going to affect the business. This ad boycott only really happened in the last month or so. And it really started in the UK and it's spreading to the US. If you really look at YouTube as a entity, um, most of its revenue is generated from the small to mid tail of advertisers. And it really is a one stop shop for them. For the largest brand advertisers who really want to be in brand safe places, uh, YouTube is a scary place to run. And it really wasn't built for those large-scale brand advertisers. Now, YouTube was sort of caught proverbially with its pants down where there's now a lot of press around uh, great advertising and great advertisers running against hate speech and other problematic content. But what you're seeing is that Google is uh, now having to approach this problem and deal with it. And I think there's a little bit of chinks in the, in the armor of YouTube going forward and trying to, uh, in trying to deal with this. Chinks in the armor, Mike. You're not worried about YouTube at all? Uh, well, we're not too concerned. Uh, you know, I was actually uh, uh, waiting to, to come on here, and I was watching you earlier with the, the commentary that uh, you know, Google only expects a, a modest impact here. Uh, I think that, that's very telling. You know, I think this was a, a major blow to, to potentially sentiment, uh, a blow to uh, sort of the, the PR for, for uh, Google. Uh, and here they are, and it's only going to have a modest impact. So I think in our minds, uh, they're, they've, been a, they've done a pretty good job of sort of identifying the problems, working to, to correct it. Uh, and our sense is you know, the, uh, Google is seeing basically uh, everything from the inside, and they're really just not seeing a major impact yet. So I would typically uh, go with uh, some of that commentary in terms of the, the forward impact. Harry, if we're moving away from YouTube in particular and looking at other areas, what about, we were all very concerned about the money being ploughed into so-called moonshots. Ruth Porat, the CFO, came in, got a rain on it. Do you feel now more at ease that perhaps they've, they've got a handle on their spending? Well, I don't think it, it's made a major contribution to their revenue. You can see from their numbers that the core business is still advertising across search and, and video. Um, you know, I think that they are going to be careful about uh, spending their money in, in the right places. I think the, the key thing for them is they have to find that next growth area. Um, you know, who knows whether these types of problems associated with uh, content are going to have long-term effects on uh, their video business. I think search is, is pretty safe, um, but their video business, I think, over the long term, if, it, if it's not seen as a safe place for brands to run, I think it will have a material impact. Uh, you may not see it next quarter or even the quarter after, but I think over the next few years, you'll see that there isn't that plowing of you know 80% of video budgets into YouTube digitally um, and so these moonshots really are a way for them to diversify their revenues into different areas and maybe diversification is what's needed when you suddenly seem to have Amazon potentially becoming a threat on on men multiple fronts I really want to get uh, overall the investor take here Mike on whether you think Amazon is a key threat now in terms of advertising in terms of cloud yeah, absolutely. And I did hear your earlier uh, guest. Sounds like he's a little bit more concerned that uh, you know, Amazon may be getting into uh, Google's territory here in terms of, of advertising. Uh, we're, we're a little less concerned here. Uh, if, if we sort of pull back and, and sort of look at this quarter's earnings uh, and look at uh, all the different uh, sort of dynamics here, uh, we're seeing ri rising barriers to entry. And we're actually seeing that across basically all the FANG stocks. Uh, so we're seeing that you know, for, for Amazon, for Alphabet, et cetera. 
uh, our, our sense, and particularly for the advertising space, and you know, uh, specifically for Google, for Facebook, you're seeing very high uh, sort of barriers to entry that, that continue. So in, in our minds, as we sort of pivot over to uh, Amazon and ask the question, are they going to get into Google's ad business? Uh, we think that, that Google's got a pretty big head start. We think it, it may be uh, somewhat difficult for Amazon to really uh, make uh, some, some gains there. And I think in our, in our minds, uh, Amazon, they've got plenty of other growth drivers. In our, in our mind, this is sort of down their agenda in terms of what they want to do for growth. So at this point, we're really uh, not too concerned about, uh, about uh, competition there.